literally like, the exact I'm wearing same shirt. This. Yeah. That's weird. Jeffrey, that's weird. That's I've like never the exact worn same shirt. Anymore. I d what don't is, know that I have either. What does that mean? I mean, do 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 Hey everyone, we are so excited to be here building today and we are going to be building my son, Brooks, a nightstand. Actually, we're gonna build the second nightstand. I built the first one by myself. With lumber prices as high as they are right now, our goal in designing these was to make them most cost effective and the most bang for our buck. And I think Whitney did an amazing job making these about $80 a piece. You can't find that in a store. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Leave it. Yeah. Shoot. So let's go build this DIY nightstand. Let's go. So okay. step one. Yep, step one in building this super cute nightstand is adding our pocket holes to our plywood. I'm using Luan, how would you say it? Luan. Luan plywood, is that really, is that what it's called? I think it's Luan. Luan, like a Luan platter from Luby's. That's not a plug. I'm hungry. <laughs> we didn't get paid to say that. Okay, so uh, we are using plywood for this, and these are our sides. I've already cut them down to size. These are 11 and 3 quarters inches wide, and that will be in the plan, so you don't have to remember it. So I'm picking my ugly side, and I'm using my handy dandy while Ashley goes and grabs my drill. It's already ready I was to go. I'm looking for gl glasses. Glasses. Yours are oh, I left them in the kitchen. Do you have another sorry. pair? We'll just take turns. Yeah. So whoever's holding the drill. As I was saying. Okay. We're adding three quarter inch pocket holes down both long sides of these plywood panels. And we are using the Craig Jig 720 Pro, our new favorite, latest greatest Craig Jig. Now you really wanna watch the plans on this part because I did go ahead and mark seven inches down and that's going to be, the, the top of this nightstand has an open spot so you don't want your pocket hole showing on that part. And if you will, Check the plans out, it'll show you exactly where to put these pocket holes. You can see I've got my first four on this side. Add the next four, two more. And the front of the nightstand has a door, so these little guys down here, they will not need to be filled or covered. First side down, now for the next. Okay, so we've got the side panels pocket hold, and now we're gonna attach the legs to those. These are two by twos that Whitney ripped from two by four boards, and these are gonna sit flush with these panels. I'm using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws and wood glue to attach them. A little too much glue there. Butter. Okay. All right, one down. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. All right, first side down, now time for the next. Now we're gonna add our pocket holes for our shelf boards. There's two of these. These are also 11 and 3 quarter inches wide. And then we're gonna add pocket holes around all sides. So this is, these are also 3 quarter inch pocket holes. That is my dog in the office. Ignore him, please. He thinks someone's riding a dirt bike right now. <laughs> and he wants to go out and uh -huh. run with it. That's what he's doing. He knows how to open the door. Just give him a few minutes and he'll be out of here. Seriously? Uh-huh. So I have to let him out or he's going to bark the whole time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> go get him. Go get him. Hurry. <laughs> go. All right. So our shelf boards have all their pocket holes. And now we're going to attach it to one side. We'll start with one side and then attach our other. So Ash, could you move the Craig Jig 720 Pro? That's why I'm here. Thanks. The Craig Jig 720 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so what I've done is I have gone ahead and marked, and I'll do the first one and let Ash do the second. I've gone ahead and marked seven inches down from the top. And this is going to be the top of our nightstand. So seven inches down, I've marked a line. That's going to be where the top of our shelf board lines up. Noted. Got it? Are got you paying it. attention? Because you have attention. to do the next one. I got So I'm going to add a line of wood glue using my glue ball. We'll link to that in the description box below because it is grossome. Oh, you're just going to go ahead and do this one. Okay. Oh, I thought <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was I'm my out. job. <laughs> okay. Since you took over, I'm just going to let you finish this part. I've got the first shelf done. Now I'm going to add the second shelf. And I'm going to make it flush with the bottom of the nightstand. I walked in front of Jeffrey while you were saying that. 
I was trying to stay My in character. Clock clock. I was trying to stay in character. <laughs> in character. What character would that be? The most awesome builder character. The one of ever. two? The, one. the number one of two? Half, it's the shanty of the chic. <laughs> That's not the good one. Oh. <laughs> I'll be the chic one. That's fine. <laughs> We've got both shelves on. Now it's time to add the second panel, and I will let Whitney take Do those. the honors. Ashley forgot her glasses today, so she had to borrow mine. <sighs> Sister probs. Okay, so what we're going to do is flip this. Let me make sure I'm doing this in the right order. Stand by. Because I kind of think maybe I'm not. So let me get this, pull this down real quick, and I'm going to grab our other side. Right here, Ashley's looking at the DoorDash Sorry. menu currently. <laughs> so this is our other side. I went ahead and added wood glue to where the shelves are gonna line up. I've marked seven inches. Okay, so I'm gonna set this in place, get it on our line. So my first shelf is in, and now I'll go here to the bottom where, again, it's gonna be flush. Flush it up. And I'm gonna add three more pocket hole screws right here. And these are one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws, in case I didn't mention that already. Hey, Bear. Bye, Bear. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the, say it, Ashley. We have the carcass. We have the carcass. <laughs> we have the carcass of our nightstand formed. And now we're going to add our front two bys that will support the door in the top. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Strong sister. <laughs> Pull this down. And then we need to get the Craig Jig 720 Pro. So what we have now is our two by two boards and these are going to be our horizontal support. So we're gonna add one and a half inch pocket holes on each of these. Only on one side, there's gonna be one on each side and that will help us connect it to the other. I mean, it'll just help us connect it. Pause for whatever that was. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. And because we're using the 720 Pro, it makes this part really easy to go from three quarter inch pocket holes to one and a half inch pocket holes because it does all the self adjusting for you. Okay. So we're going to have six of these. Each one's going to have a one and a half inch pocket hole on each side, and they're going to go in front and behind of our nightstand. We're going to do that right now. All right, so what we're doing now is adding those two by twos with the pocket holes that we just made. Um, I will do the first three and I'll let Ashley do the next. So I'm adding a line of wood glue. The first one, my glue block's jammed up, hold on. So these pocket holes are going to face down also. I've got my first one in place and you can either uh, attach your two and a half inch pocket hole screws first. I actually am gonna go ahead and come up from the bottom since I have it nice and flush, and I'm gonna do my one and a quarter inch pocket hole here, excuse me, one and a quarter inch pocket hole screw here first. Good okay, point. now I'm attaching. Woo! What happened is I have a little knot that wants to come out, you know, but we're just gonna leave that them there. That is not good. Na naughty little piece of wood there. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna attach the other pocket hole screw right here, right there, right there, guys. All right, got the first one attached. Moving on to the next ones. Okay, so I'm attaching this last two by two, and I'm coming in right here and adding one and a quarter inch pocket holes through the shelf board and into the two by two. And once you have all of your pocket holes attached, we are ready for our door and our top. And then we're almost done, woo! All right, so we've got all of the door frame pieces cut to size, and I'm drilling three quarter inch pocket holes into the short ends. Already got one in there. So I've drilled the pocket holes. I'm gonna move my Craig Jig 720 Pro out of the way, and I'm going to assemble the door frame with wood glue and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Okay, so I've got the door frame assembled and I've got my quarter inch plywood cut to size to fit the back. So I am applying wood glue around the edges and I'm gonna attach it to the back of the door frame with three quarter inch staples and wood glue. She just saw me do the wood glue, so didn't have to tell you that. 
Ashley finished the door, so our final step before we add our finish is going to be to add our top. Um, so this is a laminated pine project panel, and I really like this one specifically because it was inexpensive, and it's also an inch thick rather than that three-quarter inch, so I just like the look that it gives. So I'm going to lay this on the table, and I'm going to flip the nightstand. So I've set it on top. You want to make sure that you have even space along all edges or even overhang over all the edges. And we are going to use Craig's new quick flip, which is really awesome. Pause for quick flip. So this thing is really awesome. It um, allows us to use Craig pocket hole screws without pocket holes. This thing is really awesome. So we're going to first start with the drill side, the drill bit side, excuse me. And this is going to counter bore for our screws. So we're going to put this in through the two by two support. And I'm actually going at a little bit of an angle just because it works. Awesome. And you can see it gives us a little bit of a hole right here. And that's where the head of our Craig screw will go in. I'm going to do two more. Cool. And then our final one. I'm flipping it back, trading sides, and there's going to be the bit for our Craig screws. And I'm going to use two inch screws for this part. And it completely sinks your screw and gives you a nice, nice strong uh, suction. There you go. What's, what is it called? Joinery. <sighs> nice, strong joinery. <laughs> Perfect. All right, I'll get the other side and we'll, we're done. Let me get that other cool. side and we're done. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go rip down this quarter inch plywood and that's gonna be the back of our nightstand. I'm gonna use my old trusty table saw for that. Here we go. All right, so I added a line of wood glue and I'm attaching, this is a bit bowed because it's been in my garage for a bit, but the staples will hold it down just fine. I'm gonna get that in place and I'm attaching the back with those three quarter inch staples. One, two, three. So we've got the nightstand completed to this point and now we're gonna attach that door using our hinges. Typically I would do this after I stain or paint, but I really want you guys to see it all come together. All right, we've got our nightstands done. I love how they turned out, they're so cute. And they were so easy to build. Yes, and with this one, I'm just super excited. I was able to build each one of them for under $100, which right now with wood prices, I feel like it's a total win. So, pays for our lunch, at least. Yeah, for sure. Okay guys, y'all be sure to subscribe. You do not want to miss another video. Happy, Happy building. building. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Leave it. Shoot. I was holding, because I needed to right when you first started, but I was like, I can hold, come on. Get through it. So we are using, okay, I'm not gonna say so. We are using our, say all right. All right. Pause. Let me make sure this is the right place. Nope, we're actually gonna adjust the drill bit. I really am prepared, but I do have to be at three quarters of an inch. Okay. Oh my God. Calm down with the screwdriver. Sorry. So Ash, could you move the Craig Jig 720 Pro? That's why I'm here. Thanks. The Craig Jig 720 Pro. <laughs> Link in the description box below. That was not a plug at all. Brought to you by Shannon. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> hey! 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 <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, because we're kind of the same person. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <coughs> Sorry.